Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. Alright, so in this tutorial, we're going to be taking this eagle right here, and we're going to be separating it by colors. And if you wanted to follow along with this tutorial, feel free to go to ScrappyDoo.com slash tutorials and you can download this eagle image and you can go ahead and follow along with us so uh, you have an image and you want to paper piece it with the colors and this is what uh, what you're going to end up happening so let's go ahead and see the final product so uh, you can get an idea of what we're going to be doing as you can see it's all separated by color and uh, th that way you can uh, cut it into scale so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to uh, go back to the beginning. All right, so uh, in order to get this image, you're just going to go to File, and you're going to go to Import, and you're going to find you're going to find the image that uh, that you downloaded. So uh, I already imported it into Inkscape, and what we're going to do next is we're going to make sure that it's selected by the bounding boxes and as you can see I'm always going to refer to this as the information box it is an image so uh, so right there you can see it's an image we haven't done any paths to it so what we're going to need to do first is we're going to go to path trace bitmap and once you do that you're going to see a window pop up and uh, you're going to have a few f options to choose from. So let's go ahead and go through what option you're going to need to do in order to separate colors. Uh, you're going to you're going to need to go down to the colors uh, selection, select that, and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to uh, it's sort of like trial and error. You're going to count how many colors you're going to need for this project, and then you're going to put that into how many times you you scan and just for comparisons let's go ahead and do two and see what happens we're going to hit update and as you can see uh, it, it shows you know like a light beige blue background and the violet as the two colors so let's go ahead and increase that back up to six and we're going to hit update and as you can see more colors are now present and once once you have uh, enough colors that you're that you're willing to use in this you can go ahead and hit OK alright so let's go ahead and close this box we no longer need it and uh, as you can see that it is a group by our information box so let's go ahead and slide this group to the side make sure we have the image selected by checking the information box and we're gonna go ahead and delete that I'm gonna bring uh, bring that eagle back to the center of the page and since it's a group, we're going to need to ungroup it. So let's go to Object, Ungroup. And as you can see, it puts several other bounding boxes around this eagle. So uh, select off of the eagle, and you can now move the separate colors. And what you'll notice on this anyway is that uh, it looks like it's nothing, but it's really the, uh, the white background that it it made a path. So you can go ahead and delete that because in Scal there's a feature where you can uh, create a shadow uh, of the uh, of the object. So once you have these separated into the colors you can then go to uh, edit you can go down to copy and then you can go to the new create new document or you can go to file new and uh, a new one will pop up and you can go ahead and go to edit paste and once you once once you have it pasted then you can uh, you can save it as for example I would name this eagle black because it's going to be uh, cut on black paper and so you can go ahead and hit save as and then type in eagle black so you can then import it into scal so you're going to do that for uh, for all the pieces that uh, that you see here or that you're wanting to paper piece so with uh, with that this is a quick little tutorial but, uh, for you beginners out there wanting to separate colors of, of a JPEG a bitmap and so on so uh, go ahead and check out our website www.scrappydoo.com subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be updated when new videos come out so until next time, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com.
I will see you next time.